Welcome back. Ooh, I have no battery. Uh, first day we've had that isn't below freezing or windy or raining or some bullshit. And I have parts. A switch removal for the headlight switch. So your headlight will work just low beam. Tail light works normal. Uh, chain guide guard thing. Just a cheap one. No direction. I'll have to figure that out. Start stop switch. This is going to be sick. And Midwest Mountain Engineering clutch. I got that from Kernables. We'll have to go over that when I get to it. But I'm going to start installing the switches and get my rider set up a little bit more contained. Get, get rid of this completely. And this will be thinner. So let's see. All right. So there's a little bit more to this moto minded switch than I thought, so I have to check out their website. So adding the switch gets a little bit more involved than I thought it was going to be, uh, but I'll uh, check back in when I get it going more. That's a little bit better. I'm not a fan of how big this is and how far it sticks out. I might try to move it over here because I, I hit it a lot and put it in race mode when I want to be in enduro and it's not good. That thing looks slick. That's nice. No more toggle to hit. Super clean. Like I said, I think I might move this. Now, I'm going to swap out this clutch. It is 350 and it's almost too dark to work on the bike so i think i'm gonna call that a day here's where i'm all at this is nice i like this i don't have a key i haven't had a key forever move this in open that up this is gonna have to be adjusted when the bike is hot but gained quite a bit of room there that was against the uh other switch bikes in gear I like it. I like it a lot. Looks so much better. So I'll have to wait till another day to get the chain block guide on. Other than that, I might take it to TJ's house and try to fiddle with this. I guess it takes a lot of adjustment and the clutch has to be hot to get it right. So we'll see. Back at it, YouTube. So haven't rode in weeks. Weather's been kind of shitty, been busy, relaxing, but Today it's almost 40 degrees. I think it was 38 when I pulled in. Yeah. Might be one of the last few rides of the season. I don't know. But I had to get out. I'm on vacation. Got to get some seat time. The woods shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if I can see down in there. But riding shitty weather is better than not riding. So we'll see. Feels like I'm getting ready to go out snowmobiling. Not dirt biking. We'll see though. Oh yeah, I got that new clutch. I forgot to bring an Allen wrench so I can adjust it though. Probably grab some goggles. Definitely needs adjustment. It's releasing light right there. It's not all grown in yet.
have to see if something in here can make it work. There's no Allens, but there is Torx bits. That's not gonna be small enough. Let's see. The bike should be warm enough now that it's getting the right adjustment. Picking up like the top layer, but it might be a little too icy out here for this. So now they got it adjusted. Ooh, that needs to be tightened. Now that I got it adjusted, huh, it's actually not that bad. I don't know. I'll probably put around here for a few more minutes and call it a day. Uh, excuse me. The ground's way more frozen than I expected. So, I ain't trying to get hurt out here by myself. Wearing all dark colors. Yeah, the bike's orange. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. I'll probably just go rip up TJ's yard a little bit. Till next time, YouTube. Later. Ow. My hands are so cold. Ugh. I just took the bike down through town. <sighs> that was stupid. Whatever. I think this is pretty much it for the year. We'll see if it warms up at all. It is nearing the end of November now, so highly doubtful. We might get a few more warm days, but if they line up on a weekend, the ground's still gonna be frozen, so don't know. I'm gonna go wash this turd and put it away.